What I consider to be one of the foundations of staying organized whilst at university is making sure that you have your timetable logged in to either an online calendar or a physical calendar, but it's making sure that you know what's happening and when it's happening. So at the beginning of every semester, when I get my timetable, I put it into my phone on Google Calendar, but I also have it in my physical diary. This means that when it comes to making plans, I know what's happening. I know if I can go home and visit family in like a month's time. It just means that you can see everything planned out rather than having to go on Moodle or opening up that Word document that your tutor always sends you and saying like, oh, what are we doing next week? Taking about maybe an hour and a half of your time the minute you get your timetable before all your modules start. Use that time to log your timetable into something that you can access every day. This is extremely useful and it just means that it makes your life so much easier, trust me. On Sunday I like to put together a little to-do list of things that I need to do the following week. And this to-do list is split into personal to-do list and work to-do list. So even something like, oh, I need to wash my bed sheets, I need to wash my towels, I need to move up the carpet, I don't know. I usually put it in a personal to-do list and then I have a work to-do list, which is everything to do with uni. So it could be write an essay, other stuff. I put together a to-do list on Sunday and then I usually spread it out the following week. I never give myself too much to do in one day because you will disappoint yourself. Giving myself too much to do on a to-do list daily, it's just, you end up disappointing yourself and everyone ends up crying, you know, you get a bit sad and it's just, it's not good. If you go to uni and you realise that the lecture actually started an hour earlier than what you thought it was, it's because you missed an email. So please make sure that you turn on your email notifications. It's going to get annoying, I know, but it means you're going to find out about student opportunities, competitions, surveys, and of course, things to do with your timetable, which are always, you know, you need to know. This one probably sounds a bit excessive, but when I have lots and lots of work to do, I like to plan my meals in advance so that when it comes to taking a break for lunch or dinner, I know exactly what it is I'm gonna eat that evening instead of sitting in the kitchen thinking like, oh my God, what am I gonna eat? <laughs> Stress, and then you end up having like toast or something. And no, toast isn't reliable meal. If you're studying or if you're revising, you need proper food. So if my diary that week says, you're having fish fingers on chips, on chips? Fish fingers and chips tonight. I'm having fish fingers and chips. <laughs> Adopting a schedule isn't just gonna make your life easier in the literal sense, so with your work and your job, it's also just gonna make you a lot happier. Having everything organized and just having a little bit of routine in your life takes away a lot of stress, especially when it's university and you have six different things going on at the same time. It's not worth going through it. So adopting a schedule is something I would recommend to anyone, regardless of whether you're at university or just leaving, there's always time to start a routine and don't expect for it to be an overnight thing either. I built my routine on picking up things as I went along, so making my lunch the night before, I'll set out my clothes the night before as in what I'm gonna wear the next day, and I also have a little basket by my door, and it has my keys, my uni ID, and my purse in it. So the minute I leave the door every day, I just grab my essentials and I know that that's something else I haven't had to worry about. So yeah, those are all my tips on how to get a routine and stay organised. I hope you find them somewhat helpful and good luck.